on through. You want to see? Come on! That's called a mangrove monitor from Australia. What's in there? That one is a boa constrictor. Do you see him? No. Yeah, look hard. He's in there. Come here, Green. He's sneaky. I don't know where he is. What's in yeah. that? Okay. He looks like he might be gone. No, he's in there. He's probably just bur buried. There's a heat pad on everyone's floor. This one's gone right now. This one's at a show. Uh -huh. um, but there's a heat pad on everyone's floor. So when the temperature gets like this, everyone's on there. So those ones are on, there's two heat pads over there. Everyone's on their heat pads. We have our Sherman's fox squirrel. This is a native squirrel species that's endangered here in Florida. And we have three skunks in here. <laughs> Champ! Are they descended? Yeah. They were they these guys were all people's pets. Champ! He's a cinnamon color or champagne colored skunk and they dig and burrow a lot and they will um, eat bugs, grubs and worms and stuff on the ground and in like roots of trees and stuff. So they're always working. Is that one's house? This one doesn't want to live there that one. Those are all the peanuts. That squirrel hides all the peanuts up there. Every time she gets nuts, she puts them up there and she saves them for winter. Is, is there a mouse? There is a mouse in there. That's food. What? That's food. Do you see the birds up there in the corner? Yes. Yes, that's, an owl. that's an owl. Good job. Those are called Eastern Screech Owls. And you guys are right in the center, kind of. Um, you guys have Eastern and Western Screech Owls. You're kind of right in the middle of the country. So there's screech owls all over the United States. And if you put one of those birds in front of that oak tree right there, they would almost disappear because that camouflage is like perfect. That's what they look like. And black tufted marmoset. They're from Central and South America. And uh, this is what, like a finger monkey. You see a lot of people buying monkeys and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you can buy a monkey online. And unfortunately, they're, they're pee, they pee on everything to market. Mm. Kind of like you take your toys and you put them in your bedroom so that way your brothers and sisters don't take your toys from you. Well, at a monkey world, they would just pee on it and say, that's mine. <laughs> no one else touch it. And the iPhone, the iPad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not <laughs> and then it all smells Sorry. so that way it smells like them. But unfortunately, their pee is very, very smelly. So people put them in bird cages in their houses and stuff. So on this kid right here, um, this is Marvin. And Marvin is a is a common marmoset. The only difference is you see the, the white tufts right here versus the black tufts. So the black tufts and the commons, they're from slightly different places in South America. Um, this was a, a college kid, bought him in a dorm. Um, he played college football and the dorm, the RAs were like, whoa, 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 you can't have a monkey uh, in here. So he gave it to his mom and his mom was like, I don't want the monkey. So then she gave him to us. So he's, he's very funny, but he's, so they get fresh fruits and veggies every day. They get a can primate uh, from a company called Zupreme, and then they get a monkey biscuit from a company called Missouri, and about four to five dollars a day. Mm -hmm. And every single day, we have to go in and we scrub and hose because if not, it would just smell like pee and poop and everything. Mm -hmm. So scrubbing and hosing every single day, and then about every week, we go in and we like use bleach and we just bleach the whole thing down. Really? So it just sanitizes. That, that big every, it's, it never ends either. It's just it's constant. You have all these animals and they just poop. And that's what people don't realize. Like having these animals is like having a kid, you know? They never stop. You guys never stop. You know, never stop. You never stop coming down. You never, you're always running around. You're always hungry. You always want something. We have three of them. There's one on the heat pad, one up on the shelf, and one in the box down there. Yes, they do have baby Yoda ears. Um, and those 
ears are very important for them. They help expel the heat. So being from the desert, it's super, super hot where they're from. So they can move their blood in their body and use those ears to cool off their body temperatures. And they also, there's really, really, really hot sand. Have you guys ever been to the beach and you walk on the sand in the summer and it burns to the bottom of your feet? These guys have extra fur on their feet and that extra fur keeps them from getting hurt when they walk on the sand and the ground. Um, what are so this is uh, Hunger Games. Katniss, <laughs> Peeta, and Rue. <laughs> Which one yeah, is Katniss? Three. Is she the one out? She is on the box. Okay. Usually Katniss is always in the box with the heat. Mm -hmm. um, Rue is always on the lookout up top, and Peeta's down there. Okay. You wanted a blanket. Uh -huh. So these are bush babies. If you can't see what they look like, you can look at this, the sign over there. There's two of them. Greater bush babies. Photo. Oh, this is gray. Gray is so like, this is this one of is our it. very special cats. <laughs> this is Aries. And Aries is a cat that we got. Um, we have four Joffroy cats here. Joffroy cat is a small cat. That's as big as she gets. She's five and a half pounds. And um, she's the size of a house cat from like South leopard. America. She and is. they are um, threatened. On. There's only about 80 of them she's here in the United States. Cats. Unfortunately, there's um, the big zoos don't have them because um, they're not very good exhibit animals. They're not very big. A Quatamundi. Uh, what does he look like to you guys? Let's go. <laughs> These are related. This is South America's version of a raccoon. Like Costa Rica. Costa, yeah, they're everywhere. They'll steal your food. They'll steal everything. Yep. Yep. That sounds like a quad of money. And there was probably a lot of them. So that's Rio. That's a boy job like that. So their boyfriend girlfriend, Rio is a very lucky, lucky cat. He's <laughs> one male, he has three girlfriends. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> look, look, look. You guys are doing good. You guys are doing so good. So we have um you we like have it? It, Rio in here. And we have Azula and Kiwi in here as well. And they really yeah. are the third like one that wrote it in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people say they look Mommy, like Mommy, a, Mommy, when I was thinking meow, he kept walking back and forth like, where's that meow? And, and, meow. and, and, and then when I said meow, he was, his ear popped up and he was like. Oh my God. <laughs> Australia, kangaroo, kangaroo. Yeah. Because they have longer back yeah. legs. Oh, oh, but they get eaten a lot where they're from. They're from Central and South America. They're considered a delicacy. And they're related to the guinea pigs. Oh my gosh, they look like a guinea pig a little yeah. bit in the front. It looks like a kangaroo. This is Bayo. Just outside. Wait, how do you see that? I see it, but I have to look. He's picking it up. He's so cute. That's what Florida boys do. We catch lizards. That's like four more in the tree, too. Yeah, they're everywhere. So this is called a brown anole, and these guys are not native. They're from, um, they're from like uh, the Caribbean mm -hmm. and the Bahamas and stuff. Um, so we have green anoles here that are native. So what, somebody brought them? Okay. They come like plants, like oh. on plants and cargo and, mm -hmm. but they're all over. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I like um, I like so, so I like Babs food. and Bayo, uh, Babs here was someone's pet. She is like all over you. She wants to be on you. She's like constantly like trying to get attention from you. Bayo is the boy. He was born on a lemur island with other lemurs. You can see kind of, well, she's actually being, being haved right now, but usually she's jumping all over the place and they're getting the sun. This is like their favorite time of day. She's pretty. Catching that sun and they sit like this, like they're doing yoga style. <laughs> you guys can all share. Oh, sorry. It's okay. There we go. All right, come on this way. Go on. Go, go. Come on, let me leave. Oh, look at that bamboo. Look, look, it's a bamboo. So, we're gonna walk in all together, okay? Just keep walking, okay. keep walking, keep walking. Okay. All right, go ready, ahead. set, go. Oh, we're gonna smell like. Walk that way. We're gonna smell like keep, walking. Keep, keep walking. Keep walking, keep walking. Keep walking, keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Walk right by her, walk right by her. Good job, good job. I know, it's a little intimidating. Here, let's work on that. These are the largest rodent in the world. They're wow. from South America. Wow. 
This is uh, Full Grown. There you go, Frank. This is PJ and Penelope. And if the, the female is over there, her name's Penelope. You guys can pet her all you want. She's like a puppy dog. That's okay. That one, yeah, pet that one if you want to pet her. Uh, you can drop the feet. This one. That's okay, oh, that's nice sharing. Okay. He doesn't like to be pet though. So no, pet that pet one back there. Okay. That one, you can pet all day. And that fur helps them dry out. And you guys know guinea pigs? My whole thing. You guys go, come on this way. This way, Frank. Be nice. Very good. Don't do that crazy. Okay, leave it. I'm getting your sister. They were really hands off with her. They didn't talk to her. They didn't let her see a lot of people. They um, didn't play with her. They were totally hands off. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, because of that, she doesn't want like affection from you. She doesn't like walk up to you and let you like pet her and love her and stuff. Mm -hmm. But she's not mean either. Mm -hmm. So a normal bobcat, if you walked up to her and cornered them in like an exhibit like this, mm -hmm. they would be like, you know, hissing and growling and snarling. She just sits there and looks at you, mm -hmm. but she doesn't come over and like seek attention. Mm -hmm. So she's not tame, but she's not wild. Mm -hmm. either, that makes, she's like in a weird middle place. <laughs> so. Yeah, is her back to us? Is that what she's doing? No, that's her face. She's looking at you. Kind oh, of. I see. Willow. Willow. Hey, Willow. <laughs> that little goat right there, he loves to rub his horns. That's all he does. <laughs> but Pixie, Pixie will protect you. Thank you. Pixie's the nice one. Pixie's Thank you. I'm scared. Do you guys want to come in? No? Keep your hands to yourself. Why? But you want to come in? You want to try now? That's fine. Let me see you pet one then. Fine. <laughs> Her and these horns. There you go. You can stay right by the door. Dad will get you out. <laughs> look at this. Look. Look at this. Look. Look at this. Look at this. Can I pet one too? I'll take him. He has uh, been a punk lately. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the pig. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I the love pig that is sweetness. Word. Sweetness. Oh, I like sweetness. I like Peppa Pig. Look like Peppa Pig. This is the closest yes. thing to a dinosaur. That you is... see those feet? Yeah. Don't those look like raptors? Yeah, it does. Oh, and it does look like. I oh, know, literally. The lights here. Why are they all rubbing on me? <laughs> <laughs> they like you. Rub their horns. Look, look at this. Jack. What do you have in your pants? I don't have anything. A mini donkey. <laughs> the finger are itchy. Because you all have itches. Mommy, they're getting fur all over you. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying to bite my butt again. <laughs> you ready to walk this way? Or do you want a picture with her? I did, but I don't think she's going to it. for pets. They're because they're highly wanted for the pet trade. But boxes are nasty. Are they nasty? Like, what do they do? They poop and pee on their food to market. They dig and they bury everything. I smell them over here. You smell it, right? Yeah. Yes, the foxes. And then they eat it. They have bad breath. <laughs> He's still peeing. He's like, yeah, okay. Can I just use the bathroom piece? <laughs> That's exactly what he's Never doing. get a pet. Please don't. Really? They are loud. They are destructive. They act like two-year-olds their whole lives. They tear up everything. They um, they have a very important job in the in the nature. Looking for his girlfriend. Yeah, this green one is the one that's talking. And he'll say, hello, how's it going? And, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And then the, the African gray from Africa over here, the gray one. They, uh, he sings Andy Griffith. Oh my gosh. 
So do they just pick that up on their own, what they want to pick Someone, up? his owner did it, whistled to him all the time. Okay, but the talking one, can he l learn new stuff? Yep, whenever, whenever, if you say something to him like a hundred times, eventually he'll start saying it. Oh. This is the third largest species of tortoise in the world. When they're full grown, these guys can live about 150 years and they get 200 pounds. Yes, I've seen those big ones. Huge. You guys can pet them on a shelf. Uh, it's kind of cold, so tortoises, they rely on the sun, so they're not very active. If you guys want to, you can feed them. And if it's, if you guys want to, you can, um, here, let's do, since there's so many of you, let me break it in half. Ladybug! Here you go, hon. There's a sloth I'm looking at, ladybug. Something that you don't see every day. It's a okay. There you go. Come here, this way. This way. Come down here. Come here. Oh, okay. That's okay. Can you guys pet him on the back of his neck now? Just nice and gentle. I don't have no lettuce. Here you go. Thank you. You guys want to see a sloth ear? Uh huh. Look at that. Along there for me. Yeah, big step over there. Good job. Good job. Big step. Big step. All the way back. All the way back. All the way back. All the way back. Come here. Come here. Right here. No. Come right here. Thank you. Keep coming. Do you pick him up and walk around with him? So we can, mm -hmm. but we like okay. to. We like for everything to be on his terms. Mm -hmm. So he chooses to participate. Um, so we will ask him mm -hmm. um, to do things, and that way, um, now he's on your guys' level. Yeah, nice. All right, so I just remember, not white. his face, just not his white. face. So you guys can pet him on the back, anywhere on the back or the bum is totally safe. Just watch. There you yeah, go. Yeah, okay, a little bit. It's Fifi, your turn, baby. Let, let, let Fifi try, though, first. Been very patient. Yeah, we don't want him to get full. He's gonna get That's full soon. But hold them together. There you go. Hold it right out in front of him. Good job. Yep. Hold it real still. He'll take it from you. He like give me that snap. Good job. Just hit. If you, can we see the one that hit the ground? We just won't feed that to him. He's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Can I pet him right here? You can pet him on the. Yep, that's a perfect place to pet him. Nice and soft and gentle. 